And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at the biggest expansion for Fireball Island, the Wreck of the Crimson Cutlass. This adds a whole nother board, a pirate ships type board, another place you can go to to get sapphires, but also full of danger. This is the, like I said, the biggest expansion for Fireball Island. Let's see what it's like. So this expansion adds a whole nother board to the game. It also adds a bunch of cards. So let's take a look at some of the cards first. You have these Sinister Intentions where everyone gets one of these. And at the end of the game, you get extra points based on something. So if you have more gold than anyone else, if you, for each set of treasures you have, for each set of six or more treasures, you get 20 points instead of 15. Uh, when you go to helicopter, you get three treasures instead of one. You get 10 if you have more of the red treasures, and so on and so forth. So this kind of gives you a goal. They're not as sinister as you might think. The game also comes with a bunch of, you know, some souvenirs and some things. I like the black spot especially. You can't play this card. It's a souvenir here. You can't play it, but if you pass another player, you can give them the card, and it's worth minus seven points. That's kind of fun. And then there's a lot of things that let you knock over the crow's nest. So we have another board here, and this board allows you to come to this board. You'll notice there's a cave two, cave three, and a cave one here. So you get here by coming from the caves. So when you show up, why would you even come to this board? Well, first of all, there's a spot right here where you're going to be able to take a picture, and this one here is worth 10 points. So that's kind of pretty cool to have that there. That's worth 10 points. Also, when you pass these, these cursed, uh, oh, what kind of jewel are these again? They're cursed sapphires. I just call them purple stones. But anyway, when you get one of these, you can use it in the future to basically take two turns in a row. Now, coming here is dangerous, of course, because we have ember marbles that can be launched from different spots here. This one is kind of launched like that, which is pretty neat. In fact, if you land here and you can hit it just right, it will make you flip. And then there's also the crow's nest. Now, in the crow's nest, we'll start with a ball equal to the number of basically ember marbles that are rolled. And as more are added to the scar, you'll add more of these in. And when you tip this over, you just knock it over. And there's things that let you rotate these cannons so that it will hit people as you go through. So while this place has some great stuff, there's also a lot of danger about coming here. Now this is one of the four expansions for Fireball Island. It's the biggest one, and it's the one that you need the least. It almost feels like it's fan service in a way, which I guess it is because it was a Kickstarter. But this one, I like the sapphires. They're great. And if you go there, get a picture that's worth 10 points, get a sapphire, get back to that one. The extra turns it takes you to get to the pirate ship are kind of offset because you can run around the island and get extra actions. That's great. The dangers on the ship are not as exciting. Like the crow's nest falling, I like, I like shooting the, the ember marble from the bow, that's neat. But the crow's nest falling over, knocking, you're, it's kind of like, yes, you're going to get knocked over or no. It's just not as diverse as the island. Also, it requires a whole nother board, you need more table space. So if you're moving around a table like shooting things, this can get in the way. This is my least favorite of the expansions to the point where I won't use this one very often. And it also doesn't fit in the base box. You can squish everything else and this one is harder to do so. So while I don't dislike it, I think it's fine. I don't know that I would add it. And if you're going through Fireball and saying, which expansion should I get? This should be the first one you pass up, which is also easy because it's the biggest one. I know that, that some people may like it. They like the pirate ship theming and you like the idea of the crow's nest and stuff. It's just that I don't know that the extra rules I have to explain for this are worth the extra table space and stuff. Don't get me wrong, it's not this complex of an expansion. It's just the least interesting of the four that are included. So, you add it or not, you know, it's no big deal, but if you're trying to cut corners and save costs, like, I don't, want, I don't know how much room I want to put Fireball Island, I can't get all the expansions, then this is the one that I would skip. Dice Tower Judgment, fun, but not necessary.